Are we doing a show now? You got, you're recording. Let's just do the show. Let's do a show. Hello, uh, welcome to Rose Mortem. It's the only show worth citing on any of your research papers. My name is Tom. My name is Thick Papers Travis. My name's Connor. And I'm Jeff Bezos. Yeah, uh, welcome, Jeff. Welcome, Connor. Connor. Jeff, well, it's nice to have you here in person. It's great to be here. Jeff, did you find some Rogaine up in space? Because you're growing more hair than I've ever seen a man named Jeff ever grow. Well, yeah, I got my, uh, I got my people <laughs> to help me out. You got that two day delivery to hair. He yeah. has, Sick. he has so much money. He has a penis rocket ship, but he can't put care on his head. Uh, just Elon like the, did it already. Like the hair uh, on my dirty laundry, I see. He's right. rocking his baldness, and, and we should celebrate him for that. Yeah, I can't. He doesn't do it well though. No, he doesn't. Uh, he looks like a baby, like one of those baby doll heads, you know, on those dolls. If on you pop one of those body. off, and you, yeah, yeah, it really does. <laughs> yeah, like he just like every day he gets up and he puts foundation on to cover up the holes where the hair is supposed to be <laughs> coming out of. <laughs> and he's all Botox now. Oh yeah, he's so he super looks extra. Bow. Yeah. So speaking of super bow, we have a long script, right? Super bow, yeah. I think we should do weeks. I want to start with you, Travis, because I know you've been busy. Dude, I've been rocking and rolling. I was all around the Hudson Valley. Have you guys ever had to spend like a week? I love my mother, but have you ever had to spend a week with your mother in a hotel room and a car straight? No. The closest I came was visiting colleges senior year of high school when it was like four (laughs) days. Four days. All right. Let me tell you, this is the closest I came to running the razor down my wrist. (laughs) (laughs) Your mother listens to the show. Yeah, she does sometimes. She always pings us. She says, Travis, stop talking about your penis. (laughs) Yeah, well, mom, you know, uh, I love you. You're great, but uh, (laughs) I don't want to see you for a while. That's why I'm getting you a house. (laughs) He's great. Mom, don't listen to the end of the trilogy. (laughs) (laughs) No, I uh, was checking out the Hudson Valley. I was looking at houses. Buy a house is very confusing. That's all I got to say. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Connor, how was your week? Uh, my week was eventful. Uh, to start Tell off me. on a slightly sad note, Lizzie and yeah. I had to put our dog down a week ago. <sighs> she had cancer. You know, we knew it was coming. Our yeah. Zell. Mm-hmm. We miss her. Rip Zell. Um, but and then to I be had fair, a, you got her like that. We knew she had cancer the whole time. Right. I, her nickname was Zelly the Cancer Dog as right. a way of, like, stealing us for the moment that was coming. But right. It didn't work. Nice dog. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, but then we had the right, good rest of the week. Uh, saw Dune finally. Loved it. Yeah, it was very good. Ten out of ten sandworms. All did right. you wake up at, like, or did you when you finished watching it? Did you like reach in your butt and like pull out like a bunch of sand? No, I just started whispering weird things to Lizzie about the future, and she's like, "Please stop being <laughs> such a nerd." <laughs> <laughs> And uh, then Wait. I had my civil service test the next day. Right. Yeah, I meant to ask you, yeah. how's that, how'd that go? You, uh... It went. Yeah? Yeah, it was done in like 30 minutes. I was like, uh, let me pretend to check on my answers. <laughs> oh, someone else pretending to be finished. I'll be finished too then. <laughs> did right, you, cool. you went C all the way down, right? They tell yeah. you to do that. And then I did 1A. 1A. Nice. <laughs> yeah. C is for civil. <laughs> that's, um, that's the test. Yeah, but you waited, what, two years for that? Yeah, uh, and I don't get my results until February, even though it was a Scantron test. Amazing. Oh, it's amazing what you can accomplish in New York State. Yeah. yeah. You know, actually, I think they got to rethink the C all the way down. They had to do, like, A, C, A, B all the way down. All cops are bastards. All cops are bastards. Definitely. You think so? Yeah. That's how they do in Portland. Mike, how's your week? <laughs> um, I keep having these dreams of my, my teeth, like, my, uh, like biting this stuff, my tooth falling out again. It's pretty terrible. My God, that's about it. Uh, Speaking wait. of Dune, we're having future dreams over here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Mike. So wait, I saw yesterday you were in the New York City uh, sucking down glizzies and skateboarding. Did you lose a tooth yesterday? No, I had this uh, really good fucking uh, like kebab wrap thing from a place called Jerusalem. Okay, so I knew it was good. I was like, this shit's they gas. got you hooked. Yeah, and I had gas for sure, but it was <laughs> fucking great. What was the meat? Do you know? Oh, it was lamb. I had a little mm-hmm. lamb right. kebab. Was mm-hmm. some what was that fucking vegetable thing they put in? Vegetables? Uh, what? Falafel. <laughs> Lettuce. Oh, yeah. yeah. Falafel, falafel and uh, yeah. lamb and falafel yeah. combo. That's combo nice. inside a fucking. Sorry, oh, yeah, like nice. a fucking empanada thing. Right. Um, and yeah, that's good. nightmares about my teeth. Yeah, all right. You know, they say, uh, I, I don't really buy it myself, but one theory is that uh, teeth dreams have to do with vanity. What does that mean? It means that you think you're ugly. I don't think you're ugly. I have body dysmorphia, so I could be. Yeah. Got hate bo- myself. Gotta do more kickflips. I hate too. myself. Yeah. I know. On the chopping block, Travis, because No, we gotta know we gotta know what <laughs> Tom is doing. I truly didn't have much. I thought you had a week, Tom. You said you uh what were you doing? Oh I, I yeah, didn't say it. it's fine. I understand why you'd wanna <laughs> because we talked before. I don't 
I haven't drank this week, so I'm bored. Tom's straight edge now. Straight edge now. Straight edge Tom. That's what yeah. people are calling me. He really had the cool. X tattooed on his forehead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's really bad. <laughs> exactly. Really nothing's happening, but I can't wait to see that movie Rust. Oh, dude. I, Rust looks so good. I'm talking about realism. Yeah, super realism. So yeah. this this is just an actual thing that happened to me. So Lizzie and I are watching Thirty Rock. I go <laughs> to the bathroom yes. and I'm looking at Twitter while taking a poop, and I see the news come up that's like Alec Baldwin killed someone while filming this movie, and I was like, wow. And we're watching Thirty Rock, and then as I'm like, I finish washing my hands, and like as I'm like, I scroll to the top of my Twitter feed, and one of the promoted tweets is a like Twitter survey, and the question <laughs> says, "Is have you heard of the movie Rust?" <laughs> 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 Well, uh, yes, and I it was have. legit now the first know. time I'd ever heard of it. I was like, "This, there's one, my phone is listening to me. <laughs> <laughs> very weird survey to give me right now. Good publicity, kind of, <laughs> in a way. Mike's, too. Mike's yeah. the new cinematographer of Rust. Am I? Yeah. yeah. Well, fuck yeah. Promoted. I got See, you a fuckers? SAG card or something. Yeah, I don't you. know. You're on your way out there. You're out to New Mexico. Just wear a bulletproof vest. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got to say. Those Baldwins. Baldwins. Yeah, so that was a fun part of my week. I got to learn uh, learn about that. Uh, I'm sure everyone else said it's not even news. Russ already won on Oscar, so. It's good. <laughs> I'm very excited for them. There's two of them. Yeah. All right, uh, Travis, take us to England. What, who's on the chopping block? Well, we know who's on the chopping block. Yeah, I, I even mentioned it last week that this is the third of one of these episodes that we have been doing right. about the Plantagenets. I think I got it right this time. I think I've learned. Connor has taught me these words. Mm -hmm. He did learn yeah, it. King, the words. King Juan Plantagenet did it. So we did Henry. We did Richard. Now we doing Richard's baby brother, the notorious King John. Okay, Johnny. Do you, do you hear this? I'm using paper. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Travis comes here. And he goes, oh, yeah, Tom, where's your other laptop so I can read off of that? Because I don't want to kill trees. You know how Travis talks. He's like, oh, I don't want to kill trees to me. And they go, oh, I don't have it here. And Travis goes, well, can you please print out 600 pages? But t Tom, this is like a couple ferns. Do you see it's how big this font is? Do you see how big the font you've chosen to use is? Oh, damn. <laughs> it's a size 30 font. It's pretty big. My eyes, dog. You're going to have to eat at least three pages of that. <laughs> All right. Or else I'm sending a bill to your house. Yeah, it was probably about $20 yeah. worth of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone that you printed. Yep. Um, okay, so... If King Henry, if we're going to relate all this to the Donkey Kong Country series, which is what most historians would do, uh, King Henry would be, King Henry II would be Donkey Kong. Richard is definitely Diddy, because he's cool, he's got a hat on, he's like, listen yeah. to boombox boom machines. Yeah, he's got a peanut gun. <laughs> yeah, he's got a peanut gun. <laughs> uh, John is the most lovable character of said series, Kitty Kong. You ever hear of Kitty Kong? No, <laughs> no, not a character in the Mario Kart series. No, so he's never not, been featured. Do not know. <laughs> never yeah. been featured in well, any well, other well. game besides Donkey Kong Country Three. He's a baby ape. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Everyone loves him. <laughs> My favorite game. Everyone loves him, especially. For story. <laughs> How long did you sit in that analogy, <laughs> dude? I've been well, thinking the about classic it. DK theory of history. I'm telling you, this is gonna be a weird one. I was trapped in the car with my mom. It was pioneered by Will Durant. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of clear to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mike, you would so, for example, you'd be the Kitty Kong of the show. Thank you. Was that uh, supposed to be a pile of shit? <laughs> that no one knows you. Really good. Is that yeah. your baby boy? I You're it was the youngest Jack Bezos. baby boy. Not Mike. You All right, it's just like three guys talking, and there's like fart sound kind of pops. <laughs> <in there. laughs> yeah. Hey. Okay. So John was remembered for two things, in in specifically two things. He was this penis roller was uh, remembered for the Magna Carta Liberat Liberatatum, which is simply known as the Magna Carta. Yeah. Okay. And he was also, I mean, the Magna Carta was pretty much the beta version of the U.S. Constitution. So it's shitty. It's got a lot of bugs. All right. Not as good. Yeah, not the Alpha Constitution. Right. Yeah, not the <laughs> Sigma Constitution. <laughs> it's in beta. <laughs> <laughs> the other notable pop culture reference to John is the bad guy in the English legend of Robin Hood. So you probably know best played by Richard Lewis in Robin Hood Men Tights. Right. Yeah. So classic. His best role. Yeah. Best <laughs> role. Aside yeah. from playing himself on curb. <laughs> yeah. And then there is also the inspiration for every for the furry culture of America. Uh Disney's nineteen seventy three Robin Hood. 
Where he's right. portrayed by a lion that likes to slob on his thick, fat thumb. Oh, yeah, I forgot he did that. You know, the song is good. That oodalati, oodalati, golly, what a day. Yeah. Wow, what a song. Wait, who plays King John in the, the in the movie where Alan Rickman is the sheriff? And uh, oh. I'll go look isn't, it up it now. Kev- isn't Costner Robin Hood? Costner's, Costner's Robin, Robin Hood. Hood. I yeah. looked it up. I I couldn't find who that was. Hold on. Don Rickles. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Hold on. Don Cheadle. It, well, it was the Keep early, reading. It was I'll... the late '80s. So it was, it was it OJ. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was OJ. He did, it at, he did it right before Naked Gun. So when John took over the throne, uh, this was England at its largest in the European theater, right? So it, we, this is the largest England's ever been in Europe. I mean, they controlled. We talked about it where we they controlled all like a lot of France. They controlled Ireland. They controlled England. Um, <clears throat> interestingly enough, where am I going here? <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? I, I I can't find the guy. I don't even know if he's in the movie. Continue to the trees. Yes. So by the end of his uh, career as king, it was down to just England and Ireland with a dash of Spain. So all that territory we talked about last time, gone. He's going to lose it all. He's going to lose it all. So interestingly enough, the one of the sources that I used uh, called King John Road to the Magna Carta by Stephen Church, uh, he pointed out that contemporary chronicles uh, post John's death, so right after he died, compared him to none other than Gaius Marius. Oh, yeah. the guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They said that um, John di- when the John died, well, when the John... When John died, people were so happy that with great rejoicing and a confident hope that they were rid of a grievous tyranny, uh, tyranny. They also stated that John died before he had satisfied and completed his desires. Well, don't we all? Yeah, I mean, pretty yeah, much. I don't know if anyone's ever died been like, I did, I everything, did everything I wanted to do in life. No regrets. I, one exception, probably David Carradine. <laughs> oh yeah, he definitely, he definitely he died, died doing all. He died for you. Yeah, so. <laughs> he did it. He's well, Johnny done. since yeah, he's <laughs> finished up. He's yeah, like, Johnny, yeah, that's the I, last Johnny one. Sins got the life, man. Johnny that's... Sins, I think, might have done it all. Might have done it all. Yeah, but Ron he's got Jeremy. more to do. Ron Jeremy's probably done it all. He's in jail, though. He's, Ron, Jer- he's Ron jail. Jeremy's in jail. Full of regret. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What are you in jail for? For I'm a fight? Sex? He raped women. Raping. Oh, I could see that back in the day. Well, the rules were blurred back then. The rules changed. That's. I mean, it's not, no, no excuse, but. Mm, I think Ron Jeremy was just a rapist. <laughs> uh, you, ever, you ever watch porn with him? He's like holding his gut and his dick at the same time. He's like, yeah, it's pretty wild. <laughs> Dude, pretty wild stuff. I decided to wear a flannel, so I'm about to show you. You look very grunge today, right Travis. You look like Kurt Cobain. That's my Pacific Northwest showing through, but I'm just going to derobe like a little bit. I'm fucking hot. Damn. That's steamy. John was born in 1166 in the Tower of London. And uh, you guessed it, to Henry II and Eleanor of Aquitaine. No way. It's the same people we talked about. I didn't see that coming, <laughs> Travis. The same whole what people. What the fuck? Also, London Tower, don't they put a... Uh, don't they put uh, uh, prisoners there? Yeah, mean yeah. people. It's a big castle. Is there a Rapunzel yeah. there? There's also a chamber where they blast out babies. Oh, okay. So. Yeah. It's also far. woman Baby torture. Blast chamber. <laughs> so yeah. you, you deserve this. God designed you this way. When John was three, he was handed over to the care of his eldest brother, young Henry. Very stable person. I don't know. We've learned a lot about this guy, but he was a yes no man, right? Yeah. No, no, no. Richard. that was oh, Richard. Richard. This oh, was right. his elder brother, the one that like just went to tournaments and. <laughs> oh, he's the one who got trampled to death, right? Nope, Jeffrey. Nope. Jeffrey. <laughs> this is a fuck. This is the guy who died of poop disease. Poop disease. Oh, yeah. okay, even better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he's drinking poop water, and he's got a three year old running around. Great. What should he drink? I don't yeah. know. More poop water. <laughs> More poop water. Builds bones. It's like oval <laughs> teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, his older brother, as I mentioned, he rebelled against his older brothers rebelled against their dad in 1173. But Johnny was only six; it's good old little boy. So his dad was like, "This one's not fucking with me." So I'm gonna bring him back, bring him back to England. And little Johnny was his favorite son because yeah. he's just a boy. He's a yeah, year old. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a good son I got yeah. here. Good you're, one. You're, you're not shit. leading armies against me. You're he's a, nine, but still. He's just paying, <laughs> playing with his Beyblades. <laughs> um, also, I l- did learn that that whole like angsty teen battle was called, uh, officially, the War Without Love. <laughs> sounds like a Beatles album. It sounds like uh, what a lot of teenagers feel like. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, no one's ever gonna love you, you fucking slimy bitch. It sounds like an album made by a band of teenagers. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Dude, this is my war with hell. So Either way, this does work for teens. Teens. Teen. Teen night. I'm upset. <laughs> so John, because he was a baby boy and he was six years old, uh, he didn't have any land. And uh, so he got, he earned the nickname John Lackland. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Mike, do you own a house? No. Uh, <laughs> Mike, Mike no the house. homeless. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey homeless. Hey. <laughs> hey, Mikey, no homes over here. <laughs> hey, you talk a lot of talk over there. <laughs> So now, just to catch you up, we kind of did this, but if you remember, Richard was a rapist warlord. Yeah. Young Henry and his brother Joffrey were tournament bros. They like to go to tournaments. Mm-hmm. Land, John bro. was the gentle little weenie boy. He was a big reader. He loved music. He loved playing backgammon, collecting jewels, shitty boxed wine. The French were like, this guy loves the worst wine. <laughs> and hunting. Okay. He sounds like a great hang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It sounds pretty cool. Man. I don't dislike this. Fella. He also definitely sounds like the f- thir- fourth son of a king, where it's like, well, I have no responsibilities. So yeah, so actually, I'm gonna fucking chill. Yeah, one of the reason why he was named John was all the other um, sons were named after some like royal lineage. So like Henry was named after Henry, and uh, uh, Joffrey was named after some Plantagenet, and Richard was named after John was named John. It had nothing to do with it. It was a Christian. It was like a the Christian John or whatever. You Pope know. John. John the Baptist. Yeah, John oh, the Baptist. Baptist. So it's believed that his dad was just like, this guy's going to join the church because he's number number four. He's, he's going to love God. Stick to the corgi. He's yeah. A, you know, no matter what he does, he ain't going to be king. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, he king. He king. Oh, <laughs> smash cut. <laughs> So, like all of the Plantagenet bros, he was prone to having fits of rage. Whereas his father would eat his straw mattress, Richard would rape. John oh. was a nail biter. When he got mad, he just <laughs> started to go to town on his nails. Just <sighs> way more yeah. chill than Richard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably yeah. jerked off and bit his nails. Yeah, don't be a nail biter, by the way. If you're out there, you, you could just peel them. Do it. No. Just peel them. I get it to habit. But I used to bite my nails all the time. Got clip them. It's I, nasty. I just realized that I look disgusting. <laughs> well, you wipe your time. hands with your ass with your hands, and you go know, poop, poop nails. Not all I do with my ass. Pooping do you not nails. use toilet paper, Mike? Oh, well, I was saying when you wipe, you're gonna get shit particles no matter what. <laughs> okay. You, know, you may not even see them. This is Mike's physics hour. Not if you're, not if you're good at wiping. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Good. Do you use a, a loofah to use wipe? A, That's what they're sock. for. Big sock. A big sock. A big yeah. sock. <laughs> Continue, Travis. I don't want to hear about this anymore. <laughs> Fuck. Winter sock. You so, use it. He was washed it a couple of times. So for most of John's life, he had to deal with being called John Lackland, right? That probably did a lot on his ego, even though I feel like most people, even our age, Tom, are still Lackland. Oh, we're all Lackland. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yes. We're all yeah. Lacklanders. Yeah. Yeah. You're in a deal to maybe get Lackland. Maybe. I'd be yeah. like, I'm maybe. Travis Maybyland. Tra- yeah, yeah, you're Travis Maybyland. We're all rents a room somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, Richard the second was like, all these little shits I have, all these sons I have are waging war on me. Now look at poor old little John here. He doesn't do anything. He just sucks his fingers and plays backgammon. Love this boy. He's my favorite son. Look at this man. Um, so he's like, I'm going to give him some land. So in 1177, <laughs> at the age of 11, uh, oh, Henry's... Finally. Finally. <laughs> age 11. <laughs> age 11. Yeah. Finally. At age 11. Finally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him at, like, land. Age 10, like going down to the golf course. And they're like, hey, it's John Lackland, you piece of shit. <laughs> he comes back at 12 years old. <laughs> Like the stupid kid from Blank Check. He's just like, I can open a bank account now. Yeah. So at the age of 11, the ripe old age of 11, uh, Henry was like, all right, John, you know, I'm going to give you some land. I'm going to make you the king of a little old boonie island called Ireland. Oh, you just, don't say. This fucking prick. Just, just <laughs> Ireland, you know. Who's the king around here? Oh, he's 11. <laughs> but he's got land now. He's cool. Yeah. I like him. Has he's he ever been? Nah, he's never been here. <laughs> So, just, just, he speaks French. Yeah, he speaks <laughs> French. Duolingo. A- actually, out of all the sons, John was probably the most English. 
Okay. Uh, oh. He still just spoke French because that's what they spoke. So in but... a way, worse for Ireland by yeah. being more. Oh English. yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can we have one more French? Yeah. Um, now, it's not like Ireland was like some uninhabited place that had a rich history of Irish kings, but all that. England doesn't give a shit about that shit. You know, Gare, you got kings? You got fucking castles? Who cares? Doesn't matter. It's mud people. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the paper, paper twist. Yeah. This is a great paper. I had to do oh, a lot of <laughs> It's horizontal. I like yeah. that. It's presentation <laughs> mode. Yeah. What is that? It's the school report version. <laughs> this is how a sick man reads. So also, <laughs> hold on. One, one other thing. I did take a quick peek while this was printing. Great. You spelling. put so's in. You write <laughs> so's into your script. I write like how, how I talk. <laughs> you know, shorten it down. <laughs> so brackets. So, burp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dot dot dot. So, fart. <laughs> shit myself. Every time I say so on the show, I want to shoot myself. Well, I'm you, like, ah, oh, just it's a it's a verbal crutch. I'm just trying. What was I, the word again? I'm trying to write sock and I don't finish it. Sock. 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 Where were we? Yes. Uh, uh. This one doesn't say so, but I'm going to add it in. You're going to add it in. So, so, on top, <laughs> on top of that dilemma, uh, every king in Europe was supposed to be a, like, you had to get approval from the Pope. So, like, if you're going to be a king, the Pope, Pope's got to be like, yeah, you're going to be king because God said you could be king. Right. Now, Popey boy Alexander the Third never got sent the email that John was going to be the king of Ireland. Henry was like, "I don't care. He's going to be king." Um, and when Alexander the Third found out, he was like, "This guy's not king," because I didn't say you didn't let me know. Yeah. So John was John was king of Ireland, like so he Prefaces. never really was king in name only. Yeah, not right. even Jesus yeah. was like <laughs> right. That's like I own a Tesla. Right, like I'm the boss at Taco Bell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? Who are you? Yeah. <clears throat> so even though he was king of this uh, island, of Ireland, he would not go to his kingdom for another eight years because um, he's just a stupid kid and he needs to get educated in England. Couldn't drive a car yet. Yeah, can't even drive. <laughs> can't even drive on the wrong side of the can't road. Can't even vote, man. <laughs> yeah. You got land, though. <clears throat> One day I'll figure it out. So just to catch up on what we talked about in the past episodes, uh, all that shit went down with young Henry. Young Henry dies. Uh, Richard goes to war against his father with Philip. And John really has nothing to do with that. He's just kind of out there just playing backgammon, biting his nails. Yeah. I was like, well, I'm down to third, son. So still no pressure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Still mm. looking relaxed. In 1185, it was time to, for John to go to Ireland and rule over his one-day potato-munching gingers. They didn't have potatoes yet. Very rude, but one day right? they would. Very sensitive towards Irish hate. Yeah, how how do you feel, down, Connor? Yeah. Uh, I feel attacked, and I'm going to walk off the set. <laughs> Half of me feels kinda, attacked. Yeah. I feel attacked right now. I really I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> I want you to take back what you said. I will not. Why don't, don't you, you why don't back. you stand there with that camera and I'll point this unloaded right. gun at you? I want you to take back what you said. <laughs> That's how this went down. This is how the movie Rust was made. Yeah. <laughs> I do imagine Alec Baldwin yelling at women in his free time anyway. Yeah. Shooting them is not far off. Yeah. Oops. So freshly <laughs> knighted by his father, John heads across the Irish Sea and he's like He's like, these are my people. It's time to win them over. It's time to be a really nice, benevolent ruler, right? I need to win over my people. He steps off the boat, and him and his entourage are met by all the Irish nobility and instantly started pulling their beards. <laughs> Just like, thing? you guys got really long beards. And it's like pulling on their beards and fucking with them. Is this thing fucking real? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Is this a gag? <laughs> yeah. Why is this so long? <laughs> You know, I've been out here just uh, I farming dirt. I wonder if one of his, like, courtiers <laughs> or, like, one of his, like, entourages, like, didn't like him and was like, I'm going to play a fucking great prank. I'm going to be like, oh, John, John, uh, it's a courtesy in Ireland to tug on a guest's beard. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? Or just say one of these magical men have a large nail growing out of their, their chin and you can bite it all you want if you find it. <laughs> Oh, it us. Yeah. It's like, well, I'm going be biting that shit. Yeah, that, ch that chin toe. <laughs> God, I miss drinking. That's so I think of Irish. I just want to have a beer. Have a whiskey, oh, right? Yeah. Have a James, nice some brown Jameson. stuff. Yeah, you grow up and sometimes you just... Shoulder. 
I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> so surprise, surprise, <laughs> the <laughs> surprise, surprise, the English were and and the Irish don't get along. They never have. Oh shit! Never will. Never will. <laughs> Why you know? is that? Because this whole beard there's, pulling there's incident. A lot of, there's a lot we can go into. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this Chalk is like it up a, to the beards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's probably just because they're next door neighbors, and like yeah. one doesn't cut their lawn, and the other one cuts their lawn too much. Ah, so yeah. one of them didn't cut their lawn, so the other one started firebombing their homes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but they don't like each other. Uh, contemporaries of uh, John's time uh, would describe them as uh, beasts, shameless in regards to morals, unclean, and they fight without armor. And worst of all, they're pagans. Oh. Right, and this is a contemporary, and who, whose king is eating his <laughs> IKEA mattress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. Be very a morally similar. upstanding citizen. Eat your mattress. Yeah. Kill the infidels. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's kind of walk around the Middle East. <laughs> yeah, right when you're mad. Now, get over it. Yeah, even though John was Henry's favorite son, he's like, I, I know this kid's an idiot, so I'm going to send advisors with him. Right? He's not going to send his his son, his 11 year. Well, I think at this point he's. Well, you said it was like eight years or yeah, something? Yeah. So around 20 ish? Yeah, he's he's like an age I think he's him. around 18 at this point. So he's like, I'm not going to send, I'm not, I wouldn't send my 18 year old child anywhere right. without a leash or like a, one of those collars that they give you when you come I don't out trust of prison. outside at all. Um, <clears throat> so he sends off these advisors with his son, and they're like, John, you got to at least show respect to these Irish kings, right? You know, you can't be pulling out their beards and shit like that. That is fucked up, dude. And you especially need to show respect to the English dudes that your dad sent over before you came. Like, they've been mashing these kings already. You got to really show respect to these dudes because, like, I don't know, they talked to your dad and shit. There was this one dude in particular, this guy named Hugh, Hugh de Lacey, who was the viceroy of England or of Ireland. Um, now, John instantly over the bed is like, yeah, 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 that's cool. And he starts giving all of his bros, like, land, regardless if it was owned by English or Irish kings. He was just like, yes, you guys take it, dude. This is a free, I'm a king, you know? That was <laughs> been his, sick. Yeah. His friends, all of his SoundCloud rapper friends. Yeah. <laughs> It's like those the Island Boys guys that put My on their vests. Island boy. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that, Tom? I, I think I know what you're talking about. It's the guys who are like with the mini Marge Simpsons coming out of their head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> island Boy. Yeah, I, don't, I, re I refuse to listen to it. But I've Another at reason to be, ter like, be ashamed of being white. Yeah, God well, damn. I think really? maybe, <laughs> maybe John stepped off the boat and he just saw these Irish people and they're going, I'm an Irish boy, I put all my this. And he's just like started pulling on there. Like, these guys are cool. Shit. Yeah. These guys know what's up. These island people listening to reggae. <laughs> <laughs> so John was only in Ireland. His Remember, this is his kingdom. He's only there for a few months. And then he's like, the climate doesn't work with me, man. I'm going back to London. <laughs> it's the fucking same climate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he, he claimed it was the climate. He's like, climate don't work. I gotta go back. And so he goes, <laughs> he goes back to London. And his dad sees him. He's like, what the fuck are you doing here? And so he sends him back that same year to Ireland. <laughs> He's like, if, if people don't like you there, you got to do what I do and just, like, rape and kill them and shit. Um, so John returns in 1186, with this time with a mercenary army, to beat those savage, savage Irish kings into submission. But they're not really at war, though. He's showing up and going, I run this, and they're going, no, you don't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I feel like this time period in particular is very much like what we've kind of been through. We're like, we're never really at war, but we're always at war. Yeah, you know, there's like, like a, not a state, there's no declared war, but yeah, is always fighting. The there's, only war that would like was declared was the crusade, so I yeah. guess that was going on, but nothing's like ever really like they're at and war. Even it was like, oh, the English had control of Ireland, but like most of the Irish probably didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're like, yeah. what do you mean you own us? <laughs> yeah, I'm just fucking out here uh, killing sheep. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what do they yeah. do before potatoes though? Um, probably a lot of corn. Uh, cabbage? No, corn's, corn's New World. Cabbage? Uh, <laughs> maize, cabbage? they called it. Cabbage, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I wheat. mean, <laughs> I heard, you know that corned beef and cabbage thing? I heard, this, this might be incorrect, but the uh, cabbage thing is not because they liked it or anything, but they used it to uh, mask the smell of meat that they were cooking. <laughs> Oh, I'm not kidding. Because they weren't allowed to have meat. They weren't supposed. They were supposed to be tending to these uh, English lords' mm -hmm. uh, animals. Those guys weren't out there counting it, so they would kill one, 
start cooking it, and they would cover it with cabbage and shit, so it didn't smell like cooking meat. Oh. Yeah. That's kind of like what they do at Taco Bell, where they add the lettuce and shit, so you can't actually taste the beef. You can't. There is no beef there. I'm really <laughs> disappointed. I had Taco Bell recently, and I guess their supply chain is duly affected <laughs> because there's nothing in those shits anymore. No. Taco Bell has gone from a fantastic fast food establishment to just garbage on a tortilla. I disagree. It's still good. That's still I get the good. chicken quesadilla. That's always a safe one. Give it three weeks of not eating any fast food, then try it, and you'll you'll know what I mean. So, but but okay. they're kind of hiding the shit like the Irish did. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, they, the poor <laughs> Southern well, Irish. Just, I hate corned beef and cabbage. God damn, that shit's whew. Corned shit's beef tight. So good. Love so that. you like that? I don't, corned beef is delicious. I like corned beef. Is I amazing. Like cabbage. No. It's cabbage. It's amazing. I can give or take the cabbage. I don't think <laughs> anyone yeah. likes the cabbage. No. That's the point of me saying. Well, you have to like put the, a lot of mustard and shit on it, so it tastes good. I get the hot yeah. dog with no no, no 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 bun. Uh, Glizzy, I believe. Uh, Glizzy. Glizzy? Yeah. Yeah. We have kids that listen to the show. Sorry, millennials. Glizzy. We have young children that listen. Died Glizzy. The correct term. Glizzy. Died Glizzy. Right. So John shows up with his mercenary army to beat the savage Irish kings in submission. And John basically just forgot to pay his troops. I mean, that was something his dad did as well. <laughs> He's like, did. I got to pay these mercenaries? Are you kidding me? And it turns <laughs> into a complete disaster. John is pretty much like laughed out of Ireland. And when he shows up back in London less than a year later, he pretty much was like, he blamed the failure on the Viceroy, uh, Will D- uh, Hugh de Lucy. Mm, who was his made critic? He's like, you're just an idiot kid. Do you think like, his dad was asking him, was like, why did you do this? And he's like, why did you do this? <laughs> yeah, right. Good oh. point, dad. Yeah. You. <laughs> There's definitely like a Marx Brothers style joke in there. Yeah. Yeah, no, I know Lucy. You to Lucy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? So you, Shut up. you to Lucy got uh, the one final laugh when he was assassinated to, by an oh. axe to the face oh. by a man named Meath the Youth Without Bowels. It's always funny, the <laughs> axe to the face. Yeah. Meath this guy never shits. <laughs> Wait, what was so funny about that, Travis? Me, the youth. No, what you were saying he had a funny time. Yeah, he got the he, last laugh. He, you think he was laughing or hitting the face with an axe? Yeah, oh. I would. I mean, every time I've thrown an axe, it's hilarious. Wait, you're talking about Meath laughing or both you, of them? You I feel like Meath both and John were laughing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. Yeah, I all, I'm like, I agree with you wholeheartedly. This does, that, that does make sense. Motives Travis, off. Motives you're, off. you're painting a weird picture for me right now. I'm trying fucked to paint. Up over here. It's an Irish picture, dude. I'm fucked up. I'm not even fucked. I'm sober, straight edge. <laughs> yeah, me, me. Look at this. See these men? Look at these. Smoking CBD instead of weed. It's terrible. <laughs> Smoke celery. I'm just fucking free basing nicotine. All right, go go back to history. <laughs> Sorry, <I'm> derailing. <laughs> so John was this whole time. John was betrothed to this chick named Elizabeth, Countess of Gloucester. Uh, that he's. Uh, he was betrothed at the age of 10. I don't know how old she was, like two or something. Uh, so it, he said, now is what? To, now they failed in Ireland. What? This is the best time to just marry this chick who happens to be my second half-cousin. I don't know what that is. I mean, it's kind of not related. Kind of not related. Second half-cousin? Apparently that it was too related for the church. Oh. Because the church placed an interdict on John and his lands after they married. Didn't like his dad marry his fucking sis- sisters. I don't know. It's basically the church can be like you two are too closely related because I don't like you. Yeah, like what the fuck? <laughs> Why are they like marrying each other off yeah. like crazy back then? I yeah. feel it's like, like that Icelandic yeah. dating app where it's yeah. like you guys are far enough apart. <laughs> uh, yeah. Fucking cousin. <laughs> that, that's what really what they should call it. Don't fuck your cousin. Yeah, don't, fuck fuck like... <laughs> don't fuck your cousin. Don't fuck your cousin. Dot com. Oh wow! Turns out uh, uh, weird Iceland. Over here. We're all related. Bless you. I'm related yeah. to York. Oh, that's my fucking cousin. Yeah. It's so strange. York. Small small world. As I mentioned in the Richard episode, the Richard and Henry the second episode, John first sided with his father when Richard and Philip the second um, had a war against them in 18, uh, sorry, in 1187. But Richard was like, yo, John, remember when they used to call you Lackland? That sucked, right, man? I'll give you more land. I know you got Ireland and all, but you kind of kind of got laughed out of that place. I'll give you some more if you join me against your dad. Right. And of course, um, of course, the lands that he was given by Richard, I'm sure the people were very happy because they were instantly placed under an interdict <laughs> because he was still <laughs> boning his cousin. Uh-huh. So those people were like, "Oh yes, we got a new ruler, and we can't go to church anymore." <laughs> 
Awesome. <laughs> now we're Love out it. of heaven. Yeah. All right, we are going to hell because these guys are fucking cousins. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. Unbelievable. <laughs> and I also mentioned in the uh, Henry the Second that the innocent John betraying his father was the final straw that sucked the camel's dick and killed his father. He's when he heard that his little boy John betrayed him, died. He's like that camel's. Yeah, gone. we already talked about that though. So uh, I know. Poo poo to him. We're catching up. Poo poo to him and his poopy water. Yeah. <laughs> poop. So Richard goes on crusade uh, and he leaves, uh, you know, England and France, and he leaves the throne to a regent named uh, William Longchamp. Or William, he's like William Longchamp. You're the regent. Take care of England while I'm gone. John is like, hate that because I'm like his brother. Wait, is this William Longshanks? Is that his, no. also his name? Different guy. William Longshanks is different. Yeah, okay. this is William Longchamp. Gotcha. Oh. Gotcha. Yeah. Short uh, Shanks. Yeah. So John was like, I hate this shit bag. I should be king because, you know, fucking I'm his brother. And enter the legend of Robin Hood, which we are going to get into right now. Great. I, after I smoke a cigarette and D, I'm going to steam out You're there. so... Yeah, I'm you're so... Listening. Yeah. I got my shirt open. Yeah. Travis looks like a runway model right it's, now. Yeah. It's, it's a good <laughs> look, but also you here. must be suffering. I'm very hot. You hear my so, boner through the microphone. I'm it's pretty it's hard. D-steam break. So right off the bat, so, Robin Hood, completely real. Just like Sherlock Holmes. Oh, really? Himself. Completely awesome. real. How would you yeah. know that? He's fucking fake. I know it. <laughs> He's completely real, just He's like fake. Sherlock Holmes. He's a fucking asshole. He's not real. <laughs> Mike, he's real. Mike, you know, you, you know, can't. He ain't fu fucking real. I, I, I read something in college one time, or what? some type of book, that, and she said, my, his, my English teacher told me it was fake. I have to say, I mean, that's why we have criminal minds on the show. They're too smart. They, they inform people. I, I went to community college. Don't forget that. <laughs> criminal minds. I did minds. not pass it. <laughs> Mike, murdered, not? Mike murdered multiple people. <laughs> you're, you're, we're on a podcast right now. I'll talk about that. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so Mike, that. Mike's smart. He knows that there really wasn't some foxy boy jumping around the woods, shooting yeah, idiots with right. arrows, robbing them Elons, and giving to the dog the bounty hunters. That's never happened. <laughs> never happened. They always lie to you. Santa Claus, it's fake. Fucking it's real. Robin Hood, Robin of Loxley. Can I take another Michelangelo Ultra? Yeah. Yeah, we drink Michelobes now. By we, I mean you sick fucks. <laughs> I'm going to divorce single mom. I need. <laughs> need a husband. <laughs> Are we gonna have a divorce party? <laughs> yes. As soon as, you, as soon as you crack one of those, it's a divorce party. That's for sure. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so it is possible that Robin Hood may have existed, but he had nothing to do with King John. Um, the first mention of uncircumcised Robin was in a poem named "Piers the Plowman," in <laughs> probably roughly the 1370s. My favorite. Is he plowing dirt or snow? Piers, it's like Piers Morgan. He's out there plowing ass. He's, pl <laughs> he's plowing his own ass. He's yeah, plowing his own ass. Like, Only Piers ass Morgan's you. favorite ass to plow. Yeah. Could you imagine being in a bed with Piers Morgan? <laughs> his head looks like a pillow. <laughs> you can sleep like, oh, on God. it. Not only am I not turned on, I'm like going to have a nightmare. So this first poem was roughly 200 years after the our story set. So maybe Robin existed back then. But mainly, Robin Hood was one of the English medieval legends, much like King Arthur or Kieran Lee. Good man. <laughs> <laughs> he's royalty blood, I think, that man. Yeah, he's, so? I mean, he's, he's a descendant. He's 15th in line for the Yeah. <laughs> he he's behind the two little babies now. Well, he has this, he, call, he calls it the royal scepter. <laughs> he was knighted not too long ago, I think. <laughs> We really need some assassins in play yeah. to get him at the top. Yeah. Fuck the queen. Prince, Who's she doing? Right? Who's she putting out for? So Prince John was introduced into the Robin Hood story as the crazy tax villain in the late 19th and 20th centuries. Right. Basically, um, this version we all know um, is kind of like when Richard's away on crusade, John goes crazy and starts taxing people, and then Richard swoops in and saves the day. Robin Hood's there, stealing from the rich, whatever. In reality, as we learn from the Richard story, Richard was the one that was taxing the fuck out of the English. Right. Not John. John was there. 
Be like, I want William Longchamp out of here. He didn't really <laughs> know what was back anymore. Anymore. Yeah, right. <laughs> John, yeah, biting his nails and looking at his jewels. Yeah, he, he was. He didn't have enough time. Yeah, like <laughs> in to realize. Oh, I can make money off these suckers. Right. Well, we, we we will learn that John does realize he can make money off these suckers when he becomes king. But the whole story is fucked. And another little side note is that. John never would have been called Prince because at the time, in this time in the Middle Ages, the concept of Prince wasn't a thing. Like, they wouldn't call it, was just like the son of the king. Yeah. Um, the whole idea of like princes wouldn't start until like centuries later. Oh, wow. Really? I did yeah. not know that. Yeah. So he'd just be like, I'm John, the son of the king, John Lackland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a son. <laughs> well, there you go. You come here and you learn something. Yeah. I just learned. I didn't know that. Yeah. So back to reality. John and, uh, Richard's dude, William Longchamp, as I mentioned, they hated each other. And John felt like he meant to rule, right? Um, uh, let, me, let me check this a little bit. I'm looking <laughs> at this. That's, are th those are words you wrote? These are words I wrote. They're on paper. Yeah, Not good resolution. It's amazing that all, that's, that sentence was completely written down already. Yeah, yeah. it was, it was, it was. Are you happy yeah. now, Travis? <laughs> that, was, that was my one cue card. Yeah. <laughs> um, Okay, you didn't so, have to write down long silence. <laughs> no, the, the, I, I, it's Come on, long man. silence. In italics. <laughs> so John was really, uh, Richard was really afraid that John would come into the country and try to usurp Longchamp's power that he gave Longchamp. Um, and m so he was like, John, while I'm away, you can't come into England. Just stay in France. We got plenty of fucking estates. Oh, shit to do. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. And Mama Eleanor of Aquitaine stepped in. He's like, Richie, you gotta let your brother in England. You gotta come in. You gotta let him in. Well, you definitely changed my entire opinion of her very quickly. <laughs> yeah, you gotta like, let oh, him she, in. she seemed all right. Uh, then, Richie! <laughs> Richie, be nice to your brother. What's nice your brother to... doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Richie, your brother's sitting in his room, biting his nails. <laughs> He's not having a fun time with your get friends. Him, get him out of the house. Yeah. I can't stand him. Yeah. Get yeah. him out of the house. Well, she, <laughs> she lived in France, so she, she was probably like, I can't deal with this kid. He's got to go to England. He keeps he, jerking off. Yeah. He's freaking me out. He keeps eating all my Chinese checkers. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, Richard's like, fine, Mom, all right. But, John, you have to swear that w William Longchamps is going to be your superior in every way, right? Like, we saw how you fucked up Ireland, and John crossed his fingers and said, fine. I'll come, and I'll, I'll be like, William, you're my boy. To the man. I love you, William. Flip. <laughs> a lengthy page flip. <laughs> oh, my God. I believe you dedicated a whole page to That's a lengthy page flip. Up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Travis That's hates cool. the environment, by the he way. He does. I do, man. I fucking hate those trees. Yeah. yeah. Uh, long champ was not very popular with the people of England uh, because his job was just to drum up all the cash that Richard was, at, at, you know, imposing. Is on. he like the sheriff of Nottingham in the story right now? Yeah, kind of. Okay. Except, See? Real, Mike. Except in reality, uh, King or Prince John was against the sheriff of Nottingham. But they're fr the, the people don't know that. They the guy make up it. the story, they don't know that. Yeah. Uh also, Richard Longchamp or uh, William Longchamp was a complete dickhead, and he was walking around the country acting as if he was king. So John used this unpopularity to his advantage, and John started secretly gaining support from the barons. And in 1191, um, with his brother away in the Holy Land, uh, he launched an assault on Longchamp and his forces, and war erupted across England. John V. Longchamp. Mm. Wow. <clears throat> so John claimed that his power grab was not for his own gains, but he was defending his brother's throne from Longchamp, who was overstepping his power. Classic offensive war, claim defense. Yeah, right? <laughs> we had to attack them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, it's a self-defense situation. That's, now, that's yeah. what happens. The nail in the coffin for Longchamp, again, Longchamp couldn't read the room here. So if you remember the Thomas Beckett thing, Longchamp had an archbishop dragged out of his church beaten and thrown into the street. And people were like, kind of like what happened to Beckett when he got Goger brains on the <laughs> in, inside of the church. We, we don't probably shouldn't like this guy. Yeah. yeah. Well, people like their archbishops at the time. They, they do. They well, do. Oh, you got grovel. You got to give me some money so I can get you to heaven. Yeah. Don't beat the shit out of that guy. I just gave him my money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's facts. He promised. Yeah. <laughs> he's getting me into heaven. He's getting me in. And now he's dead. 
I ain't Where going. I, how am I going to go to heaven? Uh, how do we know he wrote it down? <laughs> I paid the money. He's not going to remember in the afterlife. <laughs> I, I paid good money for this. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't write it down that one bit. In the end, John convinced the barons that he was doing the right thing. And Longchamp was forced to submit to John and claim, and say that he is a rightful heir to Richard. Eventually, John was or Lo William Longchamp was uh, exiled. Um, at the same time, this is happening where Longchamp is like saying to people like John is a rightful heir of England. Richard was saying that his nephew Arthur of Brittany was his heir. So it gets very confusing. Oh, yeah, it's trifling. Yeah, truly trifling. It's going to be a problem in the future. I would just like, hang like, out in France. Like, fuck all that shit. Fuck yeah. running shit. The Bang shit bras? I never understand about royals. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> just fuck off. You're rich. Yeah, like, just, why yeah. are you bothering with this? <laughs> yeah. No Xbox. Yeah. No PCs. That's why. That's true. Yeah. yeah, but they can commit all kinds of heinous murders as they You can rape, go to heaven. You yeah. Can, you can play Halo Backgammon Edition. <laughs> Exactly. I, you know what? You get that DLC for backgammon. I actually <laughs> love backgammon. I have multiple sets. If anyone would like to play backgammon with me, I've never played before. It's a great game. Okay, let's play. Yeah. Tried let's once, play. didn't get it. it. Yeah, it doesn't really make much <laughs> sense, but you get money from people. <laughs> Nickels and dimes, baby. <laughs> yeah, we all got uncles. <laughs> so as we know, John really wasn't defending his brother, uh, brother's throne, because. Surprise, surprise, he teamed up with John's enemy slash butt buddy, Philip II, and they started grabbing all of Richard's lands. And when Richard was in prison, they offered to pay his brother's captor to keep him there. Um, when Richard returned, John was stripped of all of his titles, as we mentioned in the Richard episode, later forgave him, um, and they went to war against Philip. <clears throat> now... While John was fighting side to side with his brother Richard, uh, he had a pretty successful military uh, career. Um, John's c -c -c combo breaker was a thing called the forced march. Now, I did my research, and a lot of military historians are like, "This is genius! John invented the forced march," but in reality. All that this was was just marching his troops to, like, the point of exhaustion and death to, like, reach a point, like, from point A to point B, the fastest. Also, like, oh. Caesar was famous for forced marches. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was that was yeah. kind of his yeah. shtick. Like, that was his shtick, but I, I guess John reinvented it. Well, uh, yeah, and he was like, that was his move. But, yeah, like... But maybe back then they let him sleep, like, you know, a few hours. Oh, march. Ooh, yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe this guy is like, he... He does the stuff for gas. <laughs> yeah. He's genius. I, I mean, Caesar was also using like professional soldiers, and John was using mercenaries. Right. So it's like anyone could be a mercenary back there. Yeah. You don't even need a resume. Yeah. You <laughs> show up with a slightly sharp stick. And yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Good enough. I'll kill them. a few people. You don't like any of them. I, I would sure you wouldn't like them. <laughs> That's a good page turn. That was a great one. You love that sound, right? Yeah. Um, so Richard was crossbowed to death in 1199. We went over that whole story. That's hard. Um, and on his, apparently on his deathbed, conveniently, this is when you officially say someone was your heir. He's like, Richard, you've been, or John, you've been doing such a good job. You're actually my heir, not your, not your nephew. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. And it just happened to be that John was the only one in the tent, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't even, in the story I read about Richard, it didn't seem like John was even there. I don't even Guys, know. I swear, he Dude, said yeah. I'm the king now. He telephoned me, what's that? <laughs> I knew I knew I could tell in his face he wanted me to be king. Yeah, I yeah. Why does it look like he has hands on his neck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Smothered him with a pillow. He's Think, just yeah. like, well, is that uh, my yeah. brother? <laughs> And there we go, okay. bada bing, bada boom, <laughs> John was the king of England. Burr, 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 burr. Thank God. Or at least to some people. Other people thought that Arthur of Brittany was, uh, England, uh, was the king of England. What a confusing time to be alive. <laughs> yeah, man. I yeah. posted on my Instagram, I'm king of England. This is like if Michelle Obama was like, I'm the queen of England, and then uh, TMZ was like, guess what, you're not. It's but this then other there's woman. still a group of people who are like, I guess yeah, so. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> yeah. She got my vote. I'd vote yeah. for her. This is like, what, what, what are you going to do? Uh, tell this woman, this brave woman, that she's not? She wrote Old a book. lady? Old white lady? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> you going to be an oppressor? 
Yeah. Uh, so not only did <laughs> Arthur of Brittany think that he was the king, so did the cum dumpster of Europe, floppy cum dumpster, William, or sorry, Philip II, ah. the French king. Oh, he was the guy who was... Uh... He's got that meat wallet that everyone wants. Yeah, everyone loved that. That meat wallet. Sucking on Richie's glizzy. Yeah, <laughs> that glizzy, <laughs> that uh, hot gliz. Salted gliz. It's funny every time, that word. <laughs> it really? I love it. <laughs> Gl- and you get, like, glizzard, you get that. Yeah. You get a glizzard, yeah. Yeah, glizzard. Go DQ, get the glizzard. My day, That's they called those bukkakis. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 So well, this was pretty. This was pretty much what he did. He, you know, Philip was like, "There's some unrest going on within this family of the plant, plant Plantagenets. I gotta go fuck shit up." So there were battles for the Angevin Empire in the, in France following Richard's coronation or John's coronation. I'm sorry. There's so many fucking names. So many English names. Uh, I've been drinking. And Henry's and <clears throat> it's the paper. It is the paper. Actually, you're reading better than usual. You want to hold it up I'm for you, I'm sweating Travis? more than usual. Yeah. <laughs> because you got paper. You got a little stand for him, Tom? You got a little, you got a little music stand? Music well, stand? Nah, I don't read music. John was actually oh, winning. Music stone. Yeah, John was actually winning for the most part in these battles. Um, and people were like, kind of leaning more towards John. He's like, John's the next king, not Arthur. And so he had an advantage here, right? He's like, he's winning in France. And there was a papal truce called in 1100. Remember, you wanted to get to that number, dog. We're here. We're there. 1200? Yeah. 1200. 1200. I was going to say, wait 1200. a minute. <laughs> 1200. We the didn't clock go back reset. Well, clock no, re- it was daylight savings year. Yeah, so. daylight savings <laughs> century. <laughs> I thought we were hitting the English yeah. snooze. We're in 1200. What so. a year to be alive at 1200. Yeah. Like, what? That yeah. is crazy. So many technologies. Here. Yeah. Imagine being alive then. I would hate it. <laughs> I'm getting raped. <laughs> Can we put that on top of the episode? <laughs> yeah, we haven't done that in a while. Yeah. I'm getting raped. So, Oops. <laughs> so the papal truce was called in 1200. <clears throat> John and Philip came to the table. They signed a peace treaty called the Treaty of Les Gaulettes. I like the name of that. Now remember, John was beating the fuck out of Philip right now. Uh, but <laughs> John was such a pushover that he let Philip retain his overlord status in France. And people were like, why? Why are you doing that? You're winning. So John got a new nickname. He lost the whole Lackland thing a long time ago. He became John Soft Sword. And that also <laughs> referred to oh, his dick. Oh, yeah, really? <laughs> oh, God, that must suck. Yeah. Johnny Rope Pusher. <laughs> <laughs> no uh, Rhino 69 back then. Yeah. Um, no help for you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Born a little bit too early, Johnny. All right. (laughs) So in the interim, in this peace period between fighting, John was like, you know what? I'm sick of banging my second cousin. Boring. So he kicked out his wife, Isabel of Gloucester, out to the curb. And basically, basically on the grounds that the paperwork wasn't right when he got married. Like, it was very, like, technical. And then he married another Elizabeth called Elizabeth of Angulumi. I love the shallow. Any, anything, Connor, what? on that one? I don't, it's got the weird. Can we see it? It's got the carrots over the fucking letters. I don't it's understand Uma? that shit. No, it's not even an umlaut. It's the in bold yeah. on the no, bottom. I, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave that one for you, Mike. Would you please <laughs> read that and educate these fucking bold, morons? Mike. Isabella of Nguamle, Nguamle. Aliyah, love you. Rest in peace. We're gonna call her Elizabeth II Redux, and <laughs> it was said that she was like really smoking. Way better than his cousin. Probably was. But she was also eight or nine, so I probably shouldn't oh. say that she was smoking. She <laughs> was a, a pretty kid. Like, pretty kid. I'm going to hold on. <laughs> 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 say that. Regardless of the fact, everyone in England wanted to bone her. Oh, and, my God. And Europe in general. Fuck? Dude, this place is fucked. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, 1,200. What a year. <laughs> what a year, yeah. baby. Yeah. Pretty kids everywhere. What's your favorite show? Teletubbies and porn. <laughs> <laughs> so this eight-year-old was so hot that she was actually already Stop. about... <laughs> no, please. Stop. She was already uh, almost about fuck? to marry a man named Hugh DeBron, who was uh, in his 40s, I believe. Uh, another so you? wrong. Yeah, another you. 
old He's, clumpy you, penis. You, you, uh. De, you, DeBron was actually uh, his. That means you, the, sm- the swarthy. <laughs> the, the, the swarthy guy is marrying the eight year, the hot eight year old. Apparently, hot if, I, if I was an eight year old chick, that's what I'd be <laughs> yeah. looking for in my forty year olds—a swarthy one. Yeah. So oh John God. swooped in and basically, yeah. If, if John wasn't like, oh if John wasn't, <laughs> yeah. Up. If John wasn't pissing off most of Europe, he swooped in and stole this eight-year-old bride from this dude, you the swarthy. Hard, like, hard size size from school or some <laughs> shit. Yeah, right. fuck. Got some candy in this horse. Yeah, right. Oh, this horse. Jesus I guess Christ. this white horse. <laughs> uh, this unmarked horse. The horse blinders on. It can't see. <laughs> <laughs> get in there. Get inside of this horse. Get in, get in there. They got truffle. They got back in truffles and <laughs> shit. Truffle. <laughs> hey, that's his pig truffle. Yeah. My pig just meat. found these. You're like, that's some meat. <laughs> <laughs> my pig has just found these truffles, girl. <laughs> I have some sugar back in my house. We can fun. sprinkle on them. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to England. What a pretty kid. Yeah. <laughs> pretty kids what, a, what a time to be alive. Yeah. Free truffles. So, <laughs> so half of France is already siding with Arthur as a, and Philip, huh. and John just picked a fight with one of the most powerful noble families in France. So basically, he's he's really fucking himself here, like, like mm. by stealing this guy's broad. Yeah. This six, nine, eight year old steal your girl. Yeah. Well, come girl. on, let's be real. There's no moral implications here. No. This is just insanity. <laughs> yeah, this is how it was. So you turned to King Philip of France, and you was like, "You are the overlord of France, right?" And John is technically my count, so you should be able to call him into your co- court. And settle this shit. He at least owes me money for that child that he stole. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so he owes me money for that hot kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty kid, Connor. Yeah, pretty, 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 pretty. Kid. Don't be vile, that pretty, pretty yeah. kid. <laughs> um, I'm just, I'm, I'm picturing, I'm picturing like one of those like Southern honey boo boos, like dressed up in like a Something. fucking. <laughs> <laughs> what a gem! Are we yeah. sure Jeffrey Epstein didn't time travel back to so much? <laughs> he, was, he was inspired by these people. <laughs> yeah, Jeffrey heroes. was a time traveler. Yeah, <laughs> that's my baby. Don't steal her. It's like a traffic cone lady. Everyone was being so mean to Jeffrey, but he just didn't know that was his culture. Yeah. <laughs> You know how some people say, like you used to say, oh, I was born in the wrong time, I was supposed to be a gladiator. It's just like, well, I was born in the wrong time, I was supposed to be able to trade 12 I heard how, <laughs> yeah. how good looking the eight year olds were in 1200. So Philip summons John to his court, and John was like, nah, I'm busy banging this preteen girl. <laughs> um, oh. So Stop. So yeah. wrong. Sorry, this is how it'd be. This is how it'd be. I told you this is going to be the worst balls. one. He's the worst English king. They ain't washing their balls back in. That's just crusty as fuck, bro. They didn't mention any no. of this when they taught us what the Magna Carta was. <laughs> no, no, they didn't. No, they didn't. This is a dark side of history. I don't like to tell so, you. That. So, Philip, basically, because John didn't show up and he was supposed to, he's John. John is technically a count under Philip. So because he didn't show up, John or Philip was able to break the peace treaty that they had settled, and he launched like a massive invasion on all the French territories. All right, sick. Um, <clears throat> so the war was back on. Arthur and Philip attacked Fran- uh, John's territories in France, mainly Normandy, Aquitaine, Aquitaine and Ponyu, uh, from both sides. He gets tag teamed because Brittany's all the way on the coast, and and uh, across the Seine is Philip. So. It's getting mashed. All right. Arthur headed straight to Melbu in Aquitaine uh, in order to ca- capture John's geriatric mother, Eleanor of Aquitaine. Still kicking. Still there. <laughs> really? She was like 79 at the time or something like I that. I told yeah. you how shitty this one was. <laughs> I told you all. <laughs> yeah. So he's kidnapping his own mom. Oh, he, no. He's kidnapping his aunt. Oh, right, right. Uh, Ar- Arthur's doing the invasion. Right, by her, yeah, here I am. So John, the mama's boy he was, he pulled out his special move. He launches the Force March. He leads an army down from Normandy to Aquitaine. And Arthur, who was just kicking off his shoes, capturing, you know, John's mom, was completely surprised by John's army. John was able to save his mother and capture his nephew, Arthur, in the process. Oh, wow. Good on him. Yeah. With, the, with the uh, 36 soldiers that he had left. <laughs> marching yeah. them. Yeah. No shoes. No <laughs> shoes, yeah. Oh, that's a good smelling croissant. Can we stop for a croissant? Keep marching! <laughs> you, you know what? 
I have a question here. Yes. What is this? Is a fact? There's an answer. To this. <laughs> Wait, it's a question. This, but a is, a, this is a question. Is a question and a fact. There's, there's one, sta- answer, there's there's a one answer here. You're saying there's one. One answer. You're making a statement. I, this right is now. Alex. You're back. I'm trying to pose it as a question. What is? What is the best podcast genre ever? Um. Well, it's obviously true crime. True crime. You got yeah. it. What is true crime? Right. I was going to say, what is uh, Rust? <laughs> if you were to say movie, I was going to say Rust. <laughs> who loaded the gun that day? I want to know. That, there you go. Combine yeah. the two best things. Yeah, this is so, that so this gun. is a mystery. This is a mystery just like Ru- the movie Rust isn't a mystery. Because right. <laughs> yeah, a ball one killed Because it's woman. on film. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so after John captured his nephew, Arthur... He Arthur just disap- disappears. Now, the main story that people believe was that John was wasted one night, and he came down to Arthur's stel- cell and beat him to death, killing him with his own hands, and then having his men dump the body in the river Sen. Wow. It could be. Yeah. Who knows? Sounds uh, my favorite murder enough for me. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I just looked at our Patreon. Skyrocketing numbers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! Unbelievable. So this happened at a very bad time oh. to, for him to lose his temper like this, biting his nails, fucking murdering his nephew. Because Philip, the war had taken a turn, and Philip was starting to win over territories. John's forced march was a surprise attack, but he kind of just sucked militarily when he didn't have, like, the backing. Right. Um, <clears throat> John was also losing support from his French barons because they were like, yo... People started to realize, like, yo, where's Arthur? Like, where'd he go? Uh, John had also also taken a bunch of captives of French nobility and starved them to death. Oh, man. <laughs> so, Damn, Johnny. Yeah. All right. He's seeming a little ruder. He, seemed, was, he seemed like a Game Boy uh, initially. Yeah. Now he seemed like a mean Game Boy. Yeah. Not good. So Philip, he knew something was up, so he called for a treaty under the condition that John could produce... Arthur, or at least his body. Like he figured, like he's probably dead. We just need a toe. Yeah, <laughs> bring me a toe or something. But John had probably dumped the body in the river, so he's kind of fucked there. Well, why don't you just bludgeon some other guy's face? Yeah, burn, guy's body. yeah right? burn someone mostly to death. Yeah. This is Arthur. Right? We'll, we'll kill him. Then yeah. burn him alive. Yeah. And then when you drop him on the floor, just go smoking kills. Yeah. Then we'll go, what? <laughs> what? They'll be like, your grandkids are going to love that show. Yeah. <laughs> this man is encased in honey. You cannot get his body out, but I, that's how I kill him. He's, He's just... cooked to a perfect temperature. Yeah. It just melts off the bone. Mm, damn barbecue smell good. I go over some barbecue right now. Yeah, me too. So ah, let's go get barbecue. Yeah, barbecue. Yeah. It's quick pause. Five. Quick, quick five. <laughs> Obviously, the peace treaty uh, was not going to happen. And to make a long story short, John just basically held out in Normandy for a bit, mainly just hunting and banging his broad. Uh, the whole soft sword name took a new meaning, as I mentioned, uh, because Isabel was not producing an heir, probably because she didn't have her period yet, but people were too dumb at the time to realize that. <laughs> They're like, oh, your dick doesn't work because there's no babies coming out of that 10-year-old. <laughs> Oh, God. God. <laughs> yeah, we already did oh. enough jokes about it, I guess. And I yeah. Like I'm over uh We're goofing. just kind of burnt out on it. That yeah. wasn't even a joke. That was like something that people wrote back then. No, like, no, I understand. Why yeah, don't yeah, babies yeah. fall out? Oh, yeah, girl. and I can laugh at it because these people have been dead for a while, but <laughs> yeah. I'm over making my yeah. jokes. Back to Russ jokes. <laughs> so, so one day... More topical. One day yeah. after hanging out in Normandy for a while, John just left. He said, fuck it. I don't give a shit about France. I'm going to go off back to England where he immediately started a hunting trip. Must be nice. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah, fine. Way better backgammon there. Yeah, Yeah, great backgammon. That was pretty much it for England's territory in France. Uh, Philip swept in and claimed John's ancestral home of Normandy. And the only French territory uh, that John controlled now was the tiny bit that his wife controlled. Isabel. Ooh. So there's a little bit below Aquitaine that he controlled. Isabel was sometimes called the Helen of the Middle Ages of uh, Homer's, you know, the the, the Trojan War. Uh, it said that her beauty uh, and the fact that she was stolen from Hugh um, had driven John mad and sent his kingdom into this massive war and all this shit. She was also called a siren in a heartbeat. So, you know, just this poor little <laughs> girl getting... 
yeah, for kids' meals. Really can't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> really laying it on thick there, England. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really beating a dead horse. Yeah. yeah. We get it. You have hot kids. <laughs> that you steal from the French. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Much like John's father, there was going to be some drama revolving around the appointment of an Archbishop of Canterbury. Just seems to be a thing. I don't know. Everyone's like, got to get that hot fucking Archbishop in there. Got to be mine. Can't be yours. It's a race to the top. Yeah. Of heaven. So the current pope was a young, ambitious pope named Pope Innocent III. Oh. And when Hubert Walter, who was the current Archbishop of Canterbury, died, Hubert Walter had also helped um, help John become the King of England and like kind of uh, get rid of the whole Arthur claims. Uh, Innocent jumped in and was like, dude, you got to appoint my man named Stephen Langton. This is a new guy. John was not going to let some Italian ass pope. You got to have Steve. Yeah. yeah. You got to have Steve. Steve. My guy Steve's the best. <laughs> yeah. And John was like, fuck Steve. I'm not going to let this Italian man ta- boss me around. Uh, and he proposed his own candidate. So John's like, Steve is not coming here. He's not getting into my kingdom. I only have one left now. I lost them all the rest <laughs> of them. I wasn't really paying attention to this. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like uh, house plants. <laughs> I only have one left. I'm not going to start watering it with yeah. Steve. Yeah. <laughs> so John refused to let Steve Langton into England. He basically just <laughs> noped him out of the position. <laughs> How rude. Pope Innocent, uh, in turn, placed an interdict, again, on the lands in 1208. And the following year, he excommunicated John and most of his court. Now, the thing was, other kings at the time knew how important the church was uh, to their people. Like, people, the church was like their world, right? You got church, you get baptized. It's Facebook. Yeah, it's Facebook. You got Facebook back then. Yeah. Now, other kings would try to clear up an interdict as fast as possible because. The longer you have an interdict, the more your people and your barons and everyone are going to start getting pissed off at you. Right. John was never really religious. Uh, he was notoriously stingy when it came to the church, church tip jar. Um, he, he actually didn't. He went to go visit his father and Richard at their like mortuary and like didn't leave any money, which was like a big ooh. He was a Jew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's he going to do with it? What he's going to do? He's dead. He's laying there. I so, if he was alive, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so John just ignored the excommunication and the interdict. And he saw this act that Rome had placed on him as an act of war. And he started going around and arresting clergy and taking their lands. Mm. Good move. Great move. This new guy in town lost most of your... <laughs> dig a deeper hole. Yeah, dig a deeper <laughs> hole. Now, this excommunication, excommunication and interdict lasted nearly five years. And um, remember, that's five years of like no one going to church. You, you can't get baptized. We have a baby. Again, this is important to people back then. You might have to move. You might have to move. Wow. Where are you going to move? Uh, Norway? I don't know. They don't take prisoners. They don't care. <laughs> you walk in there, they just meet. Yeah. Especially in the year 1200 mm-hmm. Yeah Good year So he's just seizing more and more money From English clergy And it wasn't until 1213 That John was basically forced to recon- Reconcile with Pope Innocent um, This was because John had pretty much been ignoring Philip of France uh, who was just slowly kind of he mean take it he'd taken over most of the territories, but he was grabbing up the rest of the remaining territories over the coast course of this decade. And he had taken up so much stuff in France that he was like, fuck it, I'm gonna go for England. So <laughs> he had a fleet prepared for an invasion. Philip had a fleet prepared for the invasion of England. Okay. And so the barons were like, You gotta we got this guy trying to attack us, you're at war with the church, you gotta Stop with the church thing at least. Yes, pick one of these <laughs> yeah, and right. then wrap it up. <laughs> yeah. Um, so <clears throat> John was at an all time low at this point. He hadn't really made up his decision with the church and the Pope, uh, and uh, with the church and Philip closing in. John was said to have contacted the Sultan of Morocco and he was like, Yo, are you interested in buy- buying England from me? <laughs> uh, 
I'll sell it to you, and I'll convert to Islam as long as you protect me. And, and wow. that would have been rad. <laughs> yeah, right? right? <laughs> yeah. Wow, yeah, that, that culture would be much different than it is now. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, England was almost bought by a uh, Muslim sultan. <laughs> what? Did he just turn him down? Was he like, I'd rather not buy you guys? <laughs> Literally, the Moroccan sultan was like, in so many words, like, that's sad, bro. <laughs> and he was like, no, I'm not taking England. Get your shit together. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um... <clears throat> So many pages. I know. I'm so mad. You know, I would have printed it smaller, but I didn't realize. Well, you, I. <sighs> Jesus Christ. So he had to do something, and again, I said his barons were forcing him to make peace with the church. So he did the unthinkable. He's, you know, it was, it was going to take a lot of ass kicking for Pope Innocent to like come around and respect this guy. So in front of a representative of the Pope, he basically fell to his knees, begged for forgiveness. And basically gave the entirety of England to Pope Innocent, pledging his fealty to the Pope. Wow. Mm. So Just giving it over? Giving it over. Like, England had to give, like, monthly or annually money to the Pope. For how long? Uh, indefinite, until they realized, you know. So you're saying that English people are actually, like, a little Italian? A little bit. At this time. Yeah, a little bit. All right. They like, they like noodles. Forget about I think this is right when they started to get noodles around this time. 1200, so, baby. That's uh, the turn right of around the turn there. Of yeah, around here. I, you, know. you like noodles? Marco Polo was around that time. Yeah. yeah, somebody might have like seen a ramen once. Wow, that looks good, that hair. <laughs> yeah. that Top hair ramen. Good. Yeah. You got to make this shit. Top ramen. Uh, so in terms of Philip's invasion of England... John got lucky. His half brother was able to Pearl Harbor the shit out of him and stop the invasion. Uh, just bombed all of his, or you know, fucked up all of his boats. Now John was still taxing the fuck out of his barons, and he tried over and over. He was like building all this money. Uh, he invaded Wales. That was a big thing to try to get more money. Wales has always been like England's Vietnam. Because the thing about Wales, the thing about Wales, there are a lot of mountains. So these Welsh guys would just like go up in the mountains and you hit know. you with a stick. <laughs> yeah. uh, whenever I think about Wales, I think about great cuisine and <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get they get and, halfway through and, and a go, tropical. Paradise. What do we want? Yeah. <laughs> what do we want out of this place? Yeah. Mm -hmm. what the hell do we want out of Wales? <laughs> we saw six different guys fucking sheep before the way in. <laughs> <laughs> And they beat us to death. <laughs> they kicked our ass. Yeah. They're eight people. So even though he's, like, claiming ter some territory in Wales, he's also kind of losing money. And what he's really doing in Wales is he's fucking up his relationship with the barons. So enter this dude named William Bowes. Bowes? Bowes. Bowes. Oh, Bowes headphones. Yeah, Bowes. <laughs> Bowes. <clears throat> Bowes, can you hear the bass? <laughs> now, this but this guy had always been really good buds with John. In fact, he was uh, one of the French barons that he had brought over and just like given land. Um, you know, he's uh, from France. He's like, oh, sorry, I lost your land. You can take this English land or this Welsh land. Thanks, mate. Um, and he was actually the guy in charge of looking after Arthur of Brittany when he was locked up. So this dude possibly could have been the guy that John turned to and was like, throw this body in the river. Mm -hmm. See that guy you're watching? Keep the ones you trust close. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, now, John William was a busybody for John in Wales. He led multiple campaigns uh, and was responsible for the Abergany Massacre, where he lured, he lured three Welsh princes and a bunch of other Welsh leaders into peace talks and then just basically slaughtered them unarmed. Hmm. Well, that's... Uh... The act of war, some might say. This is great. Smart you, that's it. good. It's great. Yeah. It's great, great maneuver right there. Right, yeah, yeah. If you want to be a nice man. Think about their 12-year-old wives. They're going to be missing those <laughs> yeah. pictures. Oh, 12 years old and already a widow. <laughs> <laughs> Next year, middle school is going to be rough. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of widows in class. Don't sit with her. Her what? husband's dead. Yeah. <laughs> She's a fucking whore. We have some new kids in class today. Could you kids stand up? Hi. Raise Hi. your hand if you're a widow. Hi, my name is Rachel. You I'm guys a widow. Can sit together. Yeah. <laughs> 
So anyway, William <laughs> owed John <laughs> William owed John a bunch of money for his <laughs> lordship in Wales. And when it came time to pay up, William was like, nah, I'm not going to pay that. So he disguised himself as a beggar and fled to Ireland. In the process, John was able to capture William's wife and son while they were fleeing. John did the great thing of taking his wife and son, putting them in Windsor Castle, and not feeding them. Basically, again, starving them to death. Oh, my God. Yes. His, ho- his ho- pretty wife that was young. <laughs> <His> young. <laughs> his pretty his wife. Pretty wife. Let, let me ask. Um, Darling. So he's done this a couple times now. Is he just like a neglect? Is he one of these people who's like, I'm not going to kill you? Yeah. And then kills you slowly? I think that was his thought process. Like, I didn't kill him. I just didn't give him food. Yeah. They, they I, didn't get I'm not supposed to feed them. They didn't pay for food. You, they, you had to pay for glizzies in jail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to do everything for this fucking kid. Yeah. yeah. Um, But this was a big, again, another major turning point with the barons of England. They knew that John was cruel now because they had done it to their own, right? Right, that's rude. (laughs) You can do this to the French, but you can't do this. Not us. You do the Welsh, you do the Irish, it doesn't matter. (laughs) If you're going to do it, you might as well just kill me quick, not let me just starve to death. Yeah, please don't let me starve to death. yeah. Yeah. So, with the barons all pissed off at him, John somehow had enough money now to launch an invasion on France. Um, <laughs> yeah, fucking <laughs> guy. Yeah. yeah well, it took a day off, guys. We're going Jeez. back. We're going back. What an God. idiot. <laughs> and since he was very unpopular at home, he turned to his relatives in the continent, specifically this guy Otto, who was like some Prussian king that was his second cousin or something. Otto shit. spent his days on a quad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Das Quad. He's like, uh, let's build some jumps over there, guys. <laughs> so now this is like a reoccurring trend in history. Like, if you make a military mistake, it's probably because you... One of the main reasons you've opened up two fronts. So Hitler did this in particular, right? He was fighting the Russians. And he was like, I'm going to open up another front. front. And Opening up two fronts is not a good idea. It's happened multiple times throughout military history. John was like, fuck that. Uh, let's have three fronts. Fronts uh. right in the beginning, dog. We fuck that. All three. <laughs> well, fronts. one is got a back door. Yeah. Two is bad. So maybe three, three is might be good. Back to good. Back to good. Yeah, <laughs> it's odd. Ne- we have this figured out. Yeah. Maybe we can get them fighting each other. Yeah. <laughs> Needless to say, the attack on Normandy was a complete failure. John made even more concessions to Philip, making him look even weaker, and France was lost forever. Oh, so, uh, what's the French word for that? Au revoir. Hey, au revoir, au revoir. Yeah, was, You guys learned something today. Yeah. <laughs> au revoir. Congratulations. French for suck my huge French uh, peener. Oh. <laughs> suck my French kid. John returns home from his campaign in late 1214 and goes back to hunting and banging. Fuck yeah. But the barons had had enough. And this time, the barons and the clergy joined forces. And boom, you got yourself the first barons war of 1215. Basically a civil war. We got another civil war. Going. Great. That's never torn any countries apart. Especially not England. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, this is the first one they've ever had. Famously unified country. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so John remembered that when his brother Richard went on crusade, his lands were technically protected under the Pope. He's like, you can't. You can't fight in my lands because I'm on crusade. So John, John, then even though he's been like a dickhead to the church, he's like, "I'm going on crusade. You can't attack any of my lands now. You can't do it. You're going to be excommunicated by Mr. Pope." This is a royalty this, like this, father going out for cigarettes. This for is the guy years. who a year ago is trying to convert to Islam. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm going on a crusade. Yep, yeah, but they didn't buy me. So you I'm guys fuck him up. Yeah, technically, you guys cannot attack my land because I am on crusade. I need to. Get my Kit Kats from the supermarket. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna go hang da- hang out with my buddy in Morocco. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which side are you on, Jim? The barons right. and the clergy were like, "Fuck this shit," and they formed the Army of God, as they called it. Cool, God Squad. And they stormed in. They took London, John's capital. They marched on to Lincoln and Exeter, and taking those as well. And John, once again, was on the ropes. And the Canterbury, uh, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Stephen Langley, was like, all right, John, you got to, like, come and sit down. We got to have, like, a treaty because, you know, the whole whole country hates you. 
Uh, yeah, it's not working. Yeah, John, you're we, fucking We remember idiot. we just had the anarchy like I don't know thir- thirty years ago, where everyone was fighting each other and raping dead bodies in the street. Yeah, they were real animals back then. So <laughs> probably the best place ever, a place called Runny Mead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so Runny. So at yeah, soup at Runny Mead it, on July on on June. That ah, let me just restart the whole thing. No, but I'm June leaving 10th. it in. Okay, June oh, 10th. At, behind the scenes. No, nah, not Juneteenth. June 27th, July 4th. Uh, on on <laughs> June in 10th. Runny Mead, June 15th, not ah. June 16th. In 12:15, the Magna Carta was drafted. Now, this essentially gave the barons due process. Um, no longer could the king just like come down and cream pie their noble ladies and tax the fuck out of them. Which John loved to do, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that. He oh, was, did, was this what got rid of Prima Nocte? Prima Nocte? Yeah. What's that? Wait, What's that? we missed oh. something. I so pre, this might be I so Prima Nocte was like a ancient, not ancient, but like medieval thing where a king could theoretically it was it's literally the translates to first night. Mm-hmm. So either the night before or the night of a wedding, a king couldn't like. Enact were, prima note and be like, I get to fuck your bride before you. That's epic. I I did then not. Then you can have sex with her. I did not know sex. that. So That's that, pretty when awesome. you said that, I was like, Oh, is that what got rid of it? <laughs> Uh, well, it probably did. I mean, that's that's an awesome fact about. Oh, so no, no, John would just <laughs> J- John wouldn't be uh, even on their wedding night. He'd just like show up to your you castle up, okay. and be like, "All right, I like your lady. See you, okay? You need hot kids here." Uh, but yeah, it probably it probably eliminated that. I mean, that's an awesome little. Maybe fact. he eliminated because he was uh, soft sword. Yeah, yeah, he was, he was just like, "No, we're not going to do this anymore." And it's because I'm a nice guy. No, John. <laughs> so, so John was called Soft Sword, but I think he had about like fifteen to twenty bastards. So he was a he was a firm man. <laughs> he, he would just rub it out. Yeah, he was. He, he used his hand and gob it in there. And I mean, once his once his his wife was of age, she started having babies. Great, so, good to know yeah. that they are alive. Right, once she got to high school, <laughs> once she, got to, yeah. she went to sex ed. And yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, that's, <laughs> that's why. Works, yeah. <laughs> Basically, this uh, Magna Carta was the first steps away from King's absolute power and then the road to parliamentary democracy. Okay. I feel like back then they had, like, just so many, like, just, like, like how do you describe it? Just, like, one-ups on you. Like, yeah. you know, I'm getting married. I'm going to finally get to fuck my wife. <laughs> oh, this guy's going to fuck my wife now like, before I do. Right. And then they were all real church people. I guess right? they're into And then it. they were yeah, moving into sick. fear of royalty yeah. so that, like, a lot of those people would wait for marriage or things mm-hmm. like that. So it meant a lot more. And they're like, oh, yeah, we've been good. You know, I've been waiting. It's been, you know, I've known you since you were 12. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you are just over 17 now. It's time to go. And all of a sudden the king goes in. So, wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I, well, uh, uh, you uh, guys got garlic bread <laughs> at your ceremony receptions. <laughs> Can I get a garlic bread? I got a belly full of the pasta weedy that's oh. in the buffet. <laughs> you guys got mashed potatoes. That's a good touch. <laughs> oh, I um, love weenies in a blanket. <laughs> honey, go greet him. Honey, yeah. get over there. Oh, well, I'm, <laughs> if we want more weird, yeah. weird marriage oh. moments. Also, on top of the fact that the king could just come in and fuck your wife. Like when you had like the night after the reception, everyone, all your whole family would follow you upstairs and watch you bang your your wife. Yeah, and that, that is so, awesome. like we got to see yeah. its insertion. Yeah, and, and just see it go in. Man. Oh yeah. my god! Gypsies did that until like the fifties. <laughs> they probably still do. Yeah, remember when we did Django Reinhardt? Yeah, his family did that. Yeah. I watched him bang oh, his yeah, wife. Right, yeah. Yeah. Now in, you, in, a, in a trailer. Now the whole internet. <laughs> yeah, now the whole internet gets to see it when they get married. Only fans. They yeah, that's probably, true. Well, uh, that was the Kim K tape. and Ray J cha- tape. <laughs> <Yeah, right. laughs> Except, to, to be fair, it's, uh, the climate has changed. These are not uh, precious flowers anymore. These are <laughs> whores. Yeah. That has a money wallet right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, that's fucking lucky. I got my PayPal uh, tattooed on my labia. <laughs> that's... Uh, now I know it. Now you know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm a hardworking woman. Uh, you see Please this? Come over. I got a barcode on my vagina. Like this, <laughs> you see this tattoo below my belly button of a cupcake that says "Eat it." I am a sacred woman. Yeah, I wanted to get a uh, QR code that would take you to my cash app, but apparently, it's just uh, it's just King Cullen's website. They messed up. <laughs> Because we're on Q- QR code. Meat section. 
Yeah. Roast yeah. beef sandwich. <laughs> roast it tells beef. you what time the senior hour is. <laughs> mm. Okay. <laughs> oh, boogers came out of my nose. <laughs> uh, Disgusting. So the thing about the Magna Carta, it's studied uh, around the world. I mean, because it's like pretty much one of the, like, like I said, it's the beta constitution of the United States way better. Uh, you know, I never wrote a better document. Album too. Yeah. Um, the thing was, was that it was written and then instantly ignored. In fact, the Pope, Pope Innocent found the Magna Carta blasphemous as the king's power was given to him by God and probably and promptly ex excommunicated all the barons involved in the signing. Um, so, yeah, they wrote this document and then just, like, threw it in the trash. And then it would come back up over the centuries again, and they'd revise it a little bit. And, of course, the Pope spared the Archbishop, because even though the Archbishop was probably the one who actually wrote it, but he's not going to hang his bro out. You're my boy. Him. You're my boy. Yeah. Yeah. Steve. Playing the game. Steve. <laughs> Steve. So the barons continued to fight for England, Everyone pretended that the Magna Carta was never signed. And in typical French king fashion, Philip noticed that there was unrest in England. And he's about to stick his big old dick in there and mix it up, mix up that shepherd's pie, you know? Oh. So you gotta got get the mashed potatoes at the bottom. After try you get some it. Russian bots. Yeah. Throw some fr fake news around there. It's ru yeah, Philip sends in his Russian bot son, what? Louis VIII. He sends right. him over to England. And, okay. And Louis VIII is like, yo, you just support me barons and like i'll take over once he's done like i'll just be the next king now this tactic <laughs> easy yeah this tactic sort of worked and louis the eighth was on the way to usurp john's throne and take away john had a son named henry the third who was en route to be the next king but it was looking like louis the eighth was going to be the next king Insane. Look at that. Yeah. A little foreshadowing, Travis. Is there John? I see a twist coming. A little twist. Twisting my shadowing. nips right now. You're yeah. twisting my nips over here. It's coming at you. He's giving you the old Gilgo twist. God damn it. If John wasn't having a bad time already, he was fleeing some defeat in East Anglia in 1216. And John and his men were crossing a bay called the Wash. Uh, his boats were caught in the outgoing current uh, and started to capsize. Not only did he lose a bunch of men, he lost his ship so that dumb. contained the crown jewels and the crown of England <laughs> <laughs> oh. that sank into the bottom of the bay. <laughs> so dumb. Yeah. This guy, like, he got beat by waves <laughs> and wind. Like, what the fuck? The ocean is powerful. Tom. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, when do you hear that? It's like, called the wash. That sounds dangerous. I don't know. I lived in East Anglia when I studied abroad. Uh, pretty calm place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The Very beaches, tranquil. The beach is like the Long Island Sound. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> kind of fucking... So you see those boats all tipping yeah. over, and there's like seagulls kind of... They're not even powering against the wind. Like, They're I'm going to bet at low tide you could have walked out to the treasure. <laughs> yeah. <geez. laughs> they got it back. <laughs> just, just sitting in one of those canoes like, whoa! <laughs> it's like being like paddleboard for the first time. Yeah. He was on a surf bike. <laughs> So rad. <laughs> Shortly after this disaster, John went to the town of Newark to drink himself to death on a new type of cider they had developed from either plums or peaches. We don't know. <laughs> We're going plums, dude. We're going plums. plums. Right? Some yeah. plum pie. Some much plum. more plum climate in England than yeah. peaches. This ain't Georgia. This ain't Georgia. This is England. Uh, yes. In Newark. Newark. <laughs> yeah. Well, Newark, Connecticut. Yeah. Continue, Travis. One is of it? these peaches had a bit of duty on them. Let me tell you, one of these peaches of plums, one of these plums had duty. Yeah. It's like my plums have duty because I wipe forward. Right. Oh, <laughs> forward. I thought you had a bow day. I need one. That's one of the first home improvements I'm doing. Yeah, get one of the Tim the Tool Man Taylors I'm doing. Yeah, do it, dude. That's gonna yeah. be sick. Get that bow day. Hose in your in your bathroom. That's why I put the bow day on for like forty <sighs> seconds at a clip. <laughs> So one of these plums had some poopy on him. And John got the dysentery. Oh, oh hello. It runs, in the family. Family. It runs in the family. <laughs> the runs run in the family. Yeah, like yeah. a long line of runners. Runs. <laughs> John continued to flee, as well as the shit in his asshole just <laughs> fleeing out of his body. Oh. Conditions got worse, and he succumbed to the dysentery October 16th. 1216 at the age of 49. Wow, wow. good year. Mm, Died at 49. I did it right this time. I didn't say 
Thank God. We're yeah. maturing as a podcast. It's amazing. Fucking Everyone idiot. in this family either died a horribly violent death or of shitting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, in a way, is its own violent Violently death. funny. I mean, you know Shitty when Joffrey was trampled to death by a horse at a tournament that he shit himself <laughs> as well. Yeah. You know? The horse stepped immediately on his colon. <laughs> yeah. And it sprayed out like a... Richard took that crossbow bolt and it was just like, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does that happen when you die? You shit yourself too. Is that what happens? Is that, yeah, I mean, if it's if it's loose enough, it's coming. It's coming. I was dog. prairie dog before I died. You think so? <laughs> the foreshadowing. Your about, muscles will let about loose. About to die. It's like, well, you got you. You're in hospice. You could be here for a week. Nah, I gotta hold this. I hold this gotta hold in. it. Yeah. Hold this. You gotta hold <laughs> this in. I had a good feeling when you hold the shit in it for a long time. Like I did that. Yeah. So, yeah. He shit in his own shoe while laying down uh, when he died. But plums. essentially, John died from eating Recipes. plums. That's a terrible way to go out. <laughs> I don't really like plums that much. Yeah. Plums like or peaches? Well, he more. deserved it. I think he deserved it to die. Yeah, he's, he, he was a person. He was England's worst king. They well, regard him as why. the worst king of England. Not what the you, one that they killed? No, nah, no. Some they, reason they this killed guy's, one of their kings. They killed, yeah, they did kill <laughs> yeah, one. But somehow he's worse. <laughs> somehow he's worse. <laughs> All right. Uh, probably probably, be, probably because he was such a tax man. Yeah. You know, he's just coming after our money. If you if you're gonna hate someone the most, well, wait, is, but yeah, that's why they killed the other one. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, God. see, they smartened up. He wasn't the worst. They got rid of him yeah. before. Yeah, you don't, can don't do this shit. And then England now is like extremely high taxes. Like right, yeah. that's there's no way to live. And they keep people in in poor houses and shit. England's a terrible place, isn't it? <laughs> it's a beautiful place. Well, you think beautiful you get drunk, architecture. Get drunk though. in pubs and throw fucking traffic cones at people and shit in the street. Sounds beautiful. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> We're yeah. moving there, but I have to be rich first. So uh, <laughs> before we close out this three part series, John had one more dickhead move left in him after post mortem. So, uh, part of his will, he wrote that his imprisoned niece, Eleanor, uh, who had a claim to the throne, w- would never be released from jail. Oh. <laughs> oh she was already imprisoned, and uh, John was like, my son Henry III is going to take over the throne, so she, this bitch is not getting out. What's, That's it, it. what's it called when, like, the, the person, who, like, the, ex- the executor of the will calls the people who have been into the, who have been, like, left something? Oh, to right. like the meeting, and then they I go think they over. Just like, call it the reading of the will. Yeah, the yeah. reading of the will. Is, so yeah. imagine like her getting invited to the reading <laughs> in of the will. Like, Henry the Third, you're gonna stay king. Elizabeth, you're staying in fucking prison <laughs> forever. What? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> to you, I leave another eternity in prison. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> oh my god! Fuck! <laughs> Come on, he's dead. He Guards, no. trap her away. Like, <laughs> I thought he was gonna give me his vinyl collection. <laughs> no. <laughs> Help, I was going to rule England better. <laughs> We're hot enough, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're a little kid, you're stupid. You're old, you're old, I don't like you. Old news, old 2022, news. you old bitch. Christ. So, so Henry, the thir- Henry the Third was able to take the throne and remove the challenge of Louis the Eighth. Uh, but one more thing before we close out. So John wanted to, he requested that he would be buried with his father and his mother, who had died along the round at age 82, and Richard at Fontequa Abbey in Anjou. The problem was, was that he had lost that territory to Philip. <laughs> so John John's body was instead thrown into a little sarcophagus in War- Worcester Abbey, where it still remains today with Worcester. his effigy, yeah, Worcester Abbey with uh, his effigy and sarcophagus. Wow, wow, so, what a fucking dirt. Couldn't even be buried with his family because he lost that shit. He deserves it. Yeah, really. Big what idiot. a what a miserable family. <laughs> like, yeah, what a, they had everything, but they were miserable. I know wealth corrupts, but really, mm-hmm. really did a number on these people. I'd be living in France in the brothels. And- Drink of wine and bread. And wait, Henry, the first Henry that we talked about was William's son or grandson? Yeah, so our first verse was Henry the second, and yeah. his his grandfather, was Henry William- Henry the first, was Hen- uh, was uh, William. Oh, sorry, Henry the first was William the Conqueror's son. Okay, All yeah, because right. it skipped because her, her his, Henry's Henry the first's daughter Matilda was like sent out of France and then it went down to Henry the right. second. So right, right, right. 
Maybe uh, we'll go back and do William the Conqueror at some point. He seemed like a dick. Let's open that shit up. Let's yeah. do some more William. Speaking of opening things up, let's open up this box. Oh, on air. Oh, yeah. Shit. yeah it would be fun. Friends, oh, yeah. You do the honors. Yeah, Who this came the, from? Uh... Let me sharpen up my penis. All right, so while, while you're opening this, uh, thank you, Travis, for all the research you did. And... Um, so King got, of trees. Yeah, we have a gift actually. This is all the way from England, right? <laughs> we got this gift from, from England. No, this is from America. This dog. is um, right. this is the remains of John. They yeah. sent us his remains. Right. We They're like, them. he's such an asshole. We don't even want to keep these anymore. <laughs> right. Exactly. So we're gonna open this box up and then uh, bring it down to Stop and Shop. Yep. And uh, leave it in the uh, clothes uh, collection. We're gonna let Dahlia chew there. on his bones. That's right. We got. I don't know what's in these. Oh, we got whoa! Fat package, look at bro. these. All right. So uh, Pit Viper has sent us a care package wow. because they are huge fans of the Ooh, show. Oh my oh, god! Shit. And they're Every, safety dude, they're rated. A lot more than just... What? What is this? Oh my god! There's really? More than just four. <laughs> <laughs> they sent us a lot of sunglasses. Holy shit, I'm gonna be fucking oh, set. Man. Oh, double wide. Are you kidding These me? These are the hot shot polarized wow. double wide. We got two extras here. <laughs> All right. This is we, Well, we should we'll we get one of these to J Wall, perhaps. Cause... Sorry, two more. Oh, let me get the polarized one. Oh, man. <laughs> Wow. Oh, cases. They These really cases. hooked us up. There's more. In, there's ones in here. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> wow. Pit Viper has hooked Holy us up with, shit, what is it, 16 Viper. pairs of glasses? 16 this pairs of glasses. Awesome. We got t-shirts here. Wow. Oh, this one's got a little thing strap. So, uh, big shout out to them. I guess they're our biggest fans officially now. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, we challenge every one of our listeners to send us really cool stuff like Pit Viper just did. Yeah. Uh, we'll don't send to... fans of us. This is fucking Viper. epic. <laughs> These are <Yeah>. sweet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my oh, God. All right, Travis, thanks for reaching out to this. Yeah, yeah. Right. thank, thank, thank you, you, Pit Viper. We're going to give you a little fucking sponsor. Thank you, Mr. Viper. Yeah. But we'll do that next um, episode. Mr. Viper. Yeah, so look, uh, thanks for listening, everyone. Seriously, Trav, thanks for doing the research. Thanks, Travis. Um, let's go do ill shit with this. Yeah, so, dude. Like, I'm, yeah. Let's, I'm done with this. Go to patreon.com slash roastmortemcast. Uh, check out the social medias. Do all that stuff. Thank you, Shane, for listening. You are uh, amazing, Pit Viper. Wow. Donald yeah, Shane. Pit Viper. Everyone go by I Pit just Vipers. learned how to do yeah. a backflip on skis. Yeah, uh, it is. Once I put these on. I feel oh a lot cooler now. Got hooked you, guys are way, <laughs> yeah, you guys are way cooler than John or Richard or, or Henry. Yeah, you guys rule. Uh, Woo! <laughs> Oh, I got a desert storm. I got the, I got the Joe Biden back house right here. Damn. Thank you, Shane, people. You're clean. Bye.